Welcome back everyone. I've had an overwhelming response to the last video and you guys have asked many questions. I really felt that I could not answer all of these questions in just one video and so I'm going to make a set of shorter videos to ensure I give you an adequate answer. The plan is to release two videos per week, one Destiny Law and one Q&A. In addition, today's video contains the artwork for the Book of Sorrows verse 1 which is now available for download in the description below. Let's begin. Many subscribers ask questions similar to that on screen now. Thanks to Supersonic, Philip, and Bassmaster for being some of the first to ask the question, why? Why did I start YouTube? I'm quite nervous about sharing this and some of you may find it too philosophical for your liking. However, it is personal and honest, so I hope you find it worth a listen. By day, I am an occupational therapist. Not many people are familiar with this profession, however, it is slowly becoming better known. The easiest way to understand what I do in my job is to use an example. I want you to take a moment to think about how you define yourself. Many of you will define yourself as a gamer, and being a gamer means different things to different people. You likely consider yourself to be part of a wider community of gamers. Gaming is an opportunity to be anyone and do anything. You make friends online and with those friends you share experiences by working together as a team. Gaming is a way to relax, laugh and have fun and often balance the stresses of life. Many of you will recognise that being a gamer is part of your identity, it is a part of who you are. So here is a hypothetical, what if you were hit by a car and you injure your spine? The spinal cord injury that you sustain means that you cannot walk and it has also affected your arms and hands. You can no longer hold a controller, you can no longer use your thumbs on the joystick, you can no longer push a button. That injury has taken away your identity as a gamer and it has happened within an instant. You may not realise how important it is to be able to pick up that controller until it is taken away from you. My job as an occupational therapist is to work out how to get you back to that identity, how to be a gamer again. Of course, being an occupational therapist is not solely about gaming, it is about whatever is important to that individual with the injury. It is not necessarily about building strength and returning movement to your hands, but working out other ways to achieve this goal. This example was actually one of my clients, an 18 year old who tried to do a backflip on his BMX bike. It did not go according to plan and he broke his neck. It did not kill him, however he would not walk again and unfortunately never pick up a controller again. The two things that were most important to him was riding a BMX bike and playing Xbox with his best friend. After the injury, the only thing he could do with his hands is this. Place your hand face down on the table, relax your fingers. Lift your wrist to the sky. This movement is all he had. It is called wrist extension. He could not move his thumb, he could not move his fingers. He could only move his wrist upwards. So this is a question to the occupational therapist. How can you play video games with only wrist extension and restore his identity as a gamer? Well, this is what I came up with. I sourced a device online that plugged into an Xbox and with some minor adjustments from an electrical engineer, it allowed me to attach different buttons, basically creating an arcade-like system as a controller. This kind of controller allowed him to hit the larger buttons with his wrist and hook his thumb onto the joysticks. He was so proficient at using this new controller that he now would regularly beat his best friend at any game they played. With this device, his identity as a gamer was restored and the distress from not being able to play video games was alleviated. So what does this have to do with YouTube? Initially, I started the channel because I wanted to continue to do this kind of work and work with engineers to custom design controllers to suit people with disabilities or injuries. YouTube was meant to be a way of advertising my service, however, it failed miserably. I quickly abandoned that idea and just decided to make a standard gaming channel. 
The channel initially covered Destiny news, raid tutorials, glitches, farming strategies, etc. However, for the most part, it also failed. I had very few subscribers, very few views, I think about 400 views per day, and I'd been trying for over nine months to make this work. I was very close to quitting and giving up. Then I just happened to make some Destiny lore videos, and they performed extremely well in comparison to my other content. I realized for the first time that the universe of the game, the lore, is a really large component of forming that identity as a gamer. Being immersed in a different reality, in a different world, was therapeutic in itself. The goal was to make a video that brought you back into that universe, to make you feel like a gamer, to make you feel like a guardian, to make you feel emotion for your enemies, to make you feel part of a community, and to do all of that without even picking up a controller. I ended up coming back to my original goal and trying to be an occupational therapist whilst being a YouTuber. That is my inspiration. When you finish watching one of my videos, if you feel like a guardian, if you feel like part of a community, and most importantly, if you feel like a gamer, then I've done my job. So on that note, we have not spoken about any Destiny lore today. So let me immerse you once again in the Destiny universe, but this time with some artwork. It is absolutely amazing, and I hope you agree. I contracted an artist named Zach Bradley to complete this artwork for me. It depicts the race known as the Osmians from the Book of Sorrows, verse 1. They live on a continent bombarded by dangers. To the skies lie the storm joys, whose tentacles reach down, fishing for their victims. In the depths of the ocean, giant shadows loom, the leviathans, their heads larger than whole continents. And of course, the most dangerous, the ever impending God wave, a monstrous wave that would sweep away an entire civilization. What would you do to survive? Would you make a bargain with the worms? This picture is available for you to download with a link in the description below. I hope you enjoy it. The next Q&A video will be how I make YouTube videos and my number one tip for starting a YouTube channel. And the next Destiny Law video will be about Praetith. There has been many requests for this one and I'm looking forward to it. Until next time, Guardians, this is Marlon Games. Peace.